Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So it's that time of week again or month again. Um, it's us, our usual Saturday night live. Uh, but this time it's going to be a bit of a difference. We're going to try and get some friends up here to answer some of your questions. So let's see who's going to join us tonight on panel. Um, I'm not sure who's coming up. I haven't had a response from anyone actually to say who's going to come up and join me. So my family garden and friends is so far me on my lonesome. <laughs> so uh let's see who wants to pop up and say hello so how is everyone so we've got yusuf assalamu alaikum warahmatullah how are you doing thank you very much for coming in leslie's here dan's here dave's allotment gardens here dave how are you doing mate thank you very much for coming in hope you're keeping well how are you getting on with uh getting to your uh, 7k I, I, you can't be far off if you haven't hit it already So what's everyone been up to? We've had a lovely couple of days of sun. Have you managed to get out in the garden? Have you managed to do anything? Um, we, sp we spent quite a bit of the day out in the garden today. Um, so we've got Tony. Tony, how are you doing, mate? Thank you very much for coming in. How are you keeping? How are things going with you at, at your end? Are you working tonight? Are you... Um, have you got the night off? So let's see who else is popping in. So, so far, uh, I, it's me on my lonesome, and it's supposed to be my family garden and friends. <laughs> uh, allotment crap had to dismantle all three, all three greenhouses that got destroyed by the storm. Oh, man. So it sounds like you've had a busy day then today. Um... What are you doing tomorrow, Tony? Oh, you you're doing that tomorrow. Okay. Uh so Leslie got you got to the garden. What did you do in the garden? Uh paint uh paint in the shed, putting on chilies and building a raised bed tomorrow. Sounds like a busy day ahead. I'm supposed to be building um a raised bed. Um what I'm thinking of this year is doing a raised bed right outside my kitchen door. So I was thinking uh, I need to dismantle some pallets first, but I'm going to make a small raised bed right outside my kitchen door. Uh, and I'm going to try and replicate the kind of gardening that we used to do, you know, when we didn't have a garden. Because there's quite a few people that watch who have only got balconies or ter small terraces uh, or living terraced houses and all, only got small yards. So I was going to try and show what we used to do in, in our small, uh, small yard and how we used to grow food in that. I mean, we didn't have much space, but we 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 grew a, a fair bit all the way through the season. Uh, I'm good, thanks. Hit 7K the other day. I've been busy on the plot today. Uh, it's been an amazing day. Um, what have you? What did you manage to get done, Dave? So Yusuf's logging on from work. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've got one. <laughs> Right, Dean, it's supposed to be my family garden and friends and no one's joining me yet. So what's going on? So it's just me on me, Todd. Let's see let's see who wants to pop in. Um so if anyone wants to do if anyone does want to come in, just send me a message and I'll and I'll uh, get you up and you can say hello. So we've got our first uh friends coming up uh, to say hello. Let's see. The spuds are here. <laughs> <laughs> You're all right, mate. How are you doing? Thank you very much for coming in and joining us tonight. How are you keeping? Oh, yeah, good. good. Oh, oh, we've been to the plant today. We went up the allotment and cut a big bush back and stuff like that and had a little general look around. First time we've been up there for about, oh, must be a good month and a half, I suppose. Yeah, just before Christmas, I think we went up there, didn't we? Yeah, maybe two months. But uh, it's all looking all right. <laughs> see tony said tony saying he wants to time me, he wants to time time me out saying that i'm not friends i'm friends with everyone man <laughs> especially you mate <laughs> <laughs> um so uh we've got john mitchell lynn and john are here we've got qb terrace garden walaikum salam warahmatullah merciless dragon thank you very much for coming in um so what what bushes did you uh cut down on the plot today then um uh, 
just at the back of the plot, really. It, it had got quite thick, you know, sort of. There's a hedge that runs at the back of my yeah. plot. We've got two it was in different pushed. sites. One is about 40 foot long two different plants we haven't cut them in a few years to be honest and they were growing over the top of the greenhouse and the polytunnel so it was a bit of a bit of a mission to get behind in it inside i'm still putting <laughs> twig and stuff out yeah. of my hair um <laughs> like leaves down inside your t-shirt all sorts it was it was really <laughs> yeah we were like head head in you know and, the pile of devastation we've left behind. I mean, God knows where we're going to put it all. <laughs> we get, we need you a have you guys got? Have you guys got a chipper? There's no electricity up there. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Oh right, yeah, of course. Yeah. We have got a chipper actually, but um, obviously that's here. <laughs> we'd need a we'd need a van to put it all in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we'll put probably it bring it back, and then well, if you could if you could break it down, you could bury it. Yeah. Or we'll leave it behind the greenhouse and it will just... Yeah. We'll just 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 <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to set light to it. That's a, a smart thing to do. That's a smart yeah. thing to do. Um, it, it turn it into compost, though, to be yeah. fair. My allotment's quite heavy clay, so anything that I could add to lighten it would be brilliant. It's just, unless you've got a, a generator, like a petrol generator, oh, sorry, diesel, whatever they are, Mm. You've, you've, I'm wondering if because you've got a 240 plug in your car, aren't you? Yeah, but I don't that that might run a charger for a phone or something. You couldn't oh, right. it wouldn't be enough for um <clears throat> I have thought about that because strimmers and stuff would be useful, but we would need a generator. Um yeah. you end up buying more stuff, don't you? Because you can get small petrol strimmers, uh Paul small petrol um chippers that might work can you Ooh. it would be good to do that because obviously it's not ideal keep burning stuff because a lot of allotments they don't like it do they well it but it releases an awful lot of carbon back into the air so actually yeah. they're quite damaging you know and i'm i'm actually on the on the side of things i'm i'm you know trying to reduce my carbon footprint with mm. uh, less plastics and things like that <laughs> the last thing i really want to do is is be a bit contradictory but you can use it as a mulch as well, can't you? Mm. You know. See, um, I got, um, I mean, because everything's at home, um, I got, um, do you know one of those grinder type chippers? So I got, yeah. one of, I got one of them for 50 quid, second hand. Nice. And it was an old, old guy who'd had it and he'd only used it, you know, for one season. And it, it was too heavy for him to get out of that, get out of the shed every time. So, yeah. I was like, all right, I'll have that. <laughs> yeah. Quid, yeah. Just, result, just eh? googling that now. Just, just literally first hit a petrol chipper, four hundred and sixty-nine pounds on so, Amazon. I reckon you've done well there. <laughs> yeah. No, no, my, mine's electric. It's electric, so it's not oh, a yeah. petrol one. Oh, one here, yeah. but petrol's usually dear anyway, isn't it? Yeah, but um. If you find, because I I just got it second hand. So if you find if you find some second hand ones, you might get a, you might get a deal. Yeah, pretty nice uh, to have a look, yeah. So Tony's saying you you could run it off solar, but you'd need an inverter. Uh, I'm not I'm not I'm not great at uh, all of this solar setup, so I need to I need to do something with my garden because uh, I'd like to run some lights in my in, in my greenhouse uh, without with, without running it off the mains. So we've done that at home. We've got we've managed to get mains yeah. all the way up. I say all the way up, like our garden's that long. How long's our garden? Hundred foot. foot, yeah. So we it's run it's run all the way up the garden. It, it sorts out the cabin and the pond that you've seen. And there's a two point yeah. power plug power supply in, in the greenhouse, which is about to be upgraded. <laughs> so what, what's, what's hundred foot? About thirty meters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thirty meters. Yeah, it's quite a big, we've got quite a big garden. It's about, oh, what is it, about, it's probably about nearly 40 foot at the top, but it's about 27 foot at the bottom because it's kind of got that sort of... Slightly outward. Yeah, it? it's yeah. Um, yeah, it's quite a big garden. They, these were ex-council houses built during the war, and uh, so they were <laughs> built for families yeah. during the war. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's telling the story like he lived it. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, not far, he did. Eh? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, forty-two. <laughs> they built them so they get so they could get flattened, I think. But um, anyway, they managed to survive, and consequently, they're bigger houses, like it's a three-bedroom house. Uh, they built for families, mm. uh, ex-council house, but uh, they they had bigger gardens then because people. Used to grow their own veg, didn't they, in the garden years ago? See, what we could ideally um, do is buy next door's garden and his house if we had the money, obviously, because yeah. it's all run down. He East wing. He, yeah, <laughs> we do that honestly. If we, if only we had the money, um, watch his garden. The brambles grow over our six foot fence, so I mean, if it's growing over the six, I mean, I couldn't cut some of the brambles because we went around there to help him cut stuff down and i you know like a good sharp pair of shears i couldn't yeah. cut through them they were that thick it was that wow. wood yeah. brambles as well so i mean wow. these, we're talking you know, <laughs> you know it's like i mean that probably hasn't been touched in 20 years um and it would be perfect. We could merge both our allotments there. Yeah. We? He had um <laughs> he had like a ground force team it must have been wow. two years ago now, I, w I reckon. May not last year, the year before. Was, and they cried. completely cleared his garden for him. This, there was about half a dozen of them out there, just like on, on the telly, the old ground full slot. And they cleared his garden. What they did, they left a great big pile of it all in the middle of the garden. Yes, yeah, so they just cleared, like a charity. They came yeah. and cleared it all because he's, he's elderly and vulnerable. Yeah, so they, oh, okay. they, Okay. They did, they just cleared it for him uh, because he's just not possible to maintain. And they, obviously, the part of part of doing it for free is that you know you deal with your rubbish. So they left it all in the middle of the garden for him, which is now being grown over with everything <laughs> yeah. else. It's probably all still <laughs> living over it. We we didn't so all all that, all that rotted down and fed fed the brambles again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, because you know, they're we, already growing back over the fence. We, we so. don't want to. We we don't want to put a light to it or anything like that because there's probably like hedgehogs live under there. Yeah, they probably has a lot you know, has moved in probably and all that sort of thing. Because there's a lot of wildlife in our garden anyway. We get foxes, hedgehogs. We we get all sorts. We all sorts squirrels now. Squirrel birds, you know, loads slow of different worms. sorts of birds. Slow worms. We get quite oh, a lot slow of slow worms. Yeah, because yeah. they're in danger, aren't they? Yeah, they're actually, they're a bit more. They're they're, they're protected, but then okay. they're actually not in danger. They're I think they're relatively common now, but they yeah. are still really protected. We've we've so got a know. lot in our area where we are. We, we we've got them at my plot because my plot's about a uh, fifteen minute walk from here, which sounds a lot, but it's not really that far. Um, it's because it winds round. That's why it takes a bit of a while, but. It, it's actually not really very far at all. He normally walks there with the barrow, so it looks proper strange. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hanging out, you know, sea trays everywhere. Yeah. Oh, years ago, actually, because I, I, I've played in bands most of my life, and years ago I used to I used to go to the recording studio with me amplifier and guitars in a wheelbarrow to get it along the road because it was only along the road, sort of about half a mile. So I just just shove it all in a wheelbarrow and turn up at the studio. They used to have all these musicians turning up in jags and bands and all the rest of it. I used to turn up in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> wheelbarrow. <laughs> right, let's say hello to a few people. So we've got Fish with Bish, Drops on the Garden, Rose Allotment Adventures, Nick's Allotment Diary, Leslie Hood, uh, Drop, 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 uh, Dave, I've said hello to you, Ashley's Allotment Diary, Guys, if anyone anyone does want to come up, it's a free for all tonight. So if you want to come up, just just message me and I'll send you the link and you can pop up and have a chat with us. Uh, Merciless Dragon, could you do a video and explain that explain how many ways you can grow with how many ways you can go wrong with starting tomatoes? Um, I'm messing up on my first try. I need to know uh, what to do if it happens. Uh, Merciless Dragon, have a look at um, Simplified Gardening. He's done loads of stuff on tomatoes like that. Uh, I think he's done some on common common mistakes, so do ha do have a look at that, and you'll get some tips there. Uh, let's see who else. What else we got? And we can't see the feed. Can you guys see the comments? No. You, if if you are you watching it in YouTube or are you watching it in Streamyard? Streamyard. 
if you're watching it, um, if you want to see the comments, best to watch it in uh, YouTube. Oh, right. Unless you can get the comments uh, up on StreamYard. Actually, look, there's a comment section on the buttons. Do you want to? Ah, okay. Is that? I don't know what thoughts without lighting it. I was uh, at work. I'd never be there otherwise. Tony, oh, so what time did you get to the plot? You were a night shifter at the plots. Who, hey, me? No, Tony, Tony's saying he'd never do anything without any lights at the plot. <laughs> uh, so let's see who else has popped in. Uh, ever consider solar panels for your night? And that's what I was thinking, but I just need to learn how to do it. Uh, Dean, are you coming up tonight? So DNA family, uh, how are you doing? Thank you very much for coming in. Sky, how are you doing? Thank you very much for coming in. Stella, how are you doing? Uh, Baltic Homesteaders, Gary, how are you doing? Thank you very much for coming in. Um, if I've missed anyone, I do apologise. Uh, UK, Paul, the UK Scrappers here. Uh, let's see who else. Are we Sam's Allotment Diary. Uh, are we, I'm, well, I'm way behind in the chat, you know. <laughs> hasn't taken 10 minutes and I'm, and I'm probably half an hour behind. <laughs> Let's just skip to the front and see what's going on. Andrew, how are you doing? Uh, what's the channel name for guests? Uh, uh, what, do you need? what do you mean channel name for guests? If anyone does want to come in, just message me and I'll, and I'll bring you up here. Um. So let's see who's coming, if anyone else is coming in. Uh, da, 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 da. Dean's lost the plot, nothing. So oh, sounds like someone's coming through. <laughs> no, it was just, it was me just putting, I, I clicked on the YouTube thing by accident, so it was just me talking. So oh. I'm just getting an echo. Um. <laughs> <laughs> There's the so yeah, we we had a, a good day in the garden today. Uh, we we got a fair bit done. Um, what That's I do uh, about what I, what I do about this time is I, I pen my chickens up on my garden beds. My beds are about um, f quite big. Uh, I can't I can't tell you exactly how many. Probably about four meters by about three meters. So I pen my chickens up section by section, and I just let them uh, stay out on there during the day. And they scratch and they poo and they do all of their business. And then I'll chuck on some compost and then they'll scratch and poo and do all their business on that. And then that section's now ready for me to plant in. Yeah, well, don't weed it because they eat the stuff from the top, don't they? So, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so I do that um, section by section like that and just work my way around the garden and let them sort it out for me because they because they because they're good at you know eating little bugs you know a lot of wood lice and stuff like that they'll they'll, they'll munch them down um especially uh, and slug eggs and yeah, I'm, my, my chickens are a bit fussy when it comes to eating big slugs so they never eat big slugs they'll, they'll sometimes eat little slugs but yeah they're not very good with slugs um <laughs> but yeah so that's one little trick that i use to uh sort the garden out yeah don't think that would work very well here, it's a bit of a shame, but nah, <laughs> it would be awful. I'd love to, though. Oh, they smell, no, I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I can tolerate most things, but chicken manure, no, it makes me gag. Awful stuff, it, <laughs> even it smell is, it, it's disgusting. It, it's, it's really acidic, in it is that really sharp <laughs> kind of smell. <laughs> Horse manure and cow manure is not that bad. Actually, you can... that sounds no, weird, it ain't. No. Horse manure is quite sweet. It, I actually, I'm not offended yeah. by horse manure in the slightest. Um, you know, I'm not really, I've not been brought up on a farm or anything, but I don't find that you know, offensive. No. If I could walk around cattle poo and not, not be bothered. Elephants is Sheets, the same. That don't really llamas. smell horrible. Uh, we've had of it just chickens. get a lot of it in one go <laughs> <laughs> just stand behind one with your wheelbarrow yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <I'm not around. laughs> be a big bucket yeah. <laughs> see um i used to have quite a lot of chickens i mean i last 
this time last year, I probably had about 15 chickens. But my chickens are really, they, they are getting quite old. Some of them are like seven, eight years old. Oh. Uh, so the, the the chickens that I got when I first, first started gardening, um, some of them are about four or five years old. So last year we, we lost a lot of them. So f- from 15 down to six now. Oh. It, it's a big hit. Um, and because of lockdown, the prices of chickens and chicks and everything has just shot through the roof. It's also quite hard to introduce new chickens, new chicks to an existing, I don't know if they're called a colony or whatever, but there's a bit of a, there's a big, they're quite sociable, but they, I don't really know them that well, but. They, they have like a, a, a pretty much uh, defined hierarchy. So you've got the top bird uh, and then she'll boss everyone else around. And then you've always got one that gets beaten up by everyone. And it can yeah. change night. Do you know, like uh, one might get a bit stronger a few days later and then that one's the top bird. And, and it, do you know, one that's not feeling well, that one's the one that everyone picks on. Right, yeah. So th- they do have a bit of a hierarchy. Yeah. Uh, but it it is, you're right, it is quite difficult to introduce new birds. But if you're introducing one new bird to a flock, then it can be quite tricky. But if you introduce four or five at the same time, it's not as bad. Well, um, they adapt to a larger group of change, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so because, because then, because the new birds always get beat up, it just, the, the, they always get picked on the most. Oh, it's worth that. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> they're going in my mind. At least they've got a bit of backup, haven't they? Yeah. <laughs> it spreads it out a bit. There's <laughs> Abia. You just need to get one, you know, put an advert in. I want new chickens, but they've got to be double hard. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> well, well, they've got to be in our house as well because. Because my kids will just go in and start picking them up, and you know they'll start <laughs> walking up. I've got a video of my of one chick chicken that she she's still quite she's still around at the moment. But my daughter, when she was about four, she just scoop her up and walk about with her, and the chicken was almost as big as she was. <laughs> <laughs> and she's got this little trick: she'll just walk up behind them, grab them by the tail, and with the other hand, just grab them. And she's been doing that since she was about four years old, and it's. Like, one of the funniest things I've ever seen, because because <laughs> I'm 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 not good at grabbing chickens, but you know um, to try and catch a chicken, I'm, I'm a bit clumsy. Uh, my mum's quite good at it. Even what seventy four, and she'll still you know she'll she'll still put me to shame when when it comes to grabbing a chicken. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll be I'll be I'll, I'll probably be flapping as much as much as the chicken does. You <laughs> should do a video, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you get the video of me um i did a video of me chasing them about today <laughs> <laughs> trying to get them to go on trying to go and uh sit in the pen yeah uh, it, it, it was funny it was funny because um little zaki came out i got four in the pen and then i was chasing the other two down and then he went into the pen and chased the other four out. <laughs> I think Dean wants to join. Just caught some of the feet. Right. Dean, if you want him to come up, I'll send you a, uh, um, a Facebook thing. Oh, uh, Hugh's ready for a link. Who's ready for a link? Hugh. Hugh Jess. I think that's... Uh... <laughs> Come on! It's a Benny Hill thing. I remember that. They, 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 they um, yeah, Dean they put me out with them uh, last link. a few weeks ago. Did you did you see the one where Dean caught me out with him, him and his alter egos? So no, we've missed the camp. Um, yeah, there was there was another guy. What's the other guy's name? Um, Ice Bank, myself. No. Oh, right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh dear. So, <clears throat> so uh, yeah, he, he caught me out quite badly uh, the, the last uh, a couple a few weeks ago. There he is. Here we go. There we go. Hello. How are you doing, mate? Not too bad. Hugh's here. Hugh, yeah. 
<laughs> I'm not good. I'm even getting the guests as well. <laughs> Say that again. You're really quiet, man. Shouldn't be really quiet. <laughs> uh, what? Hello. Yeah, you're you're even catching the guests out. So uh, there you go. <laughs> well, at least I didn't bring the other one, Ice Bank. <laughs> <laughs> And I'll spell it Aid out. is too busy with his friend. Tony, Aid you can come up as well. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, an open, it's an open invite for anyone who wants to come up and join in the chat and have a bit of a laugh with us. Uh, you're very welcome to just pop up. So anyone who wants to just come up, just just tell me you want to come up and you, you're welcome to come up. Last time we were managing it with about four people and it, it was a little bit... We did it all right, didn't we? That's yeah. right. It was... Yeah. Um, Oh, what was its name? The, the it was Rob, Robert, uh, the, Robert, the Robert, Robert Bailey, wasn't it? Yeah, Rob, Robert came up. He was, yeah, he was, no, I, was, I was trying to think of his um his screen name. Uh, Kilted Gardner. Is it something Homestead? Kilted Gardner. Kilted Gardner. Oh, who was I thinking of? Oh, well. <laughs> Monday, I showed me mum that video that I put together. On late last Sunday, and she was absolutely in stitches, stitches laughing. <laughs> Honestly, I couldn't believe how many times that you'd get me. I'd get you three times, and you even said, "On he hasn't get me yet, has he? <laughs> he hasn't, get, hasn't get me yet, has he?" No, just the three times, just the three times, Monty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he even apologised to one of my characters for... for, for <laughs> hey, am I getting your name wrong? Hugh Massel, I'm really sorry about that, Hugh. Yeah, you're getting the name wrong, it's Hugh Jass. <laughs> Where's Norfolk when you need him, eh? Where is he? He's, he's, he's here, here as well. Norfolk's here yeah. as well. Norfolk yeah. and Google's there. Hey, well, so, uh... it's Norfolk. Say Norfolk. If you say it, it sounds really bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's even if you've got a bit of a northern accent, it really sounds it does. It is the reason why done it. this is what started everything off. You can't, you can't even you can't even hear the R when I say it. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying it again, but Tony's Tony's getting ready for um naked gardening on the first of May. Oh, I don't think that's happening for me this year. <laughs> Unless everybody wants to see the spare tires yeah. on the allotment now. Look at this one. So uh Andrew used to have a Moran chicken and she'd sit on his handlebars with a rally grifter. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> <laughs> you can yeah. you can get him proper team if you look after him. I think Steve wants to come on as well. Which Steve? Uh, which one the, the one in which I'm not repeating the name of? Uh, <laughs> right, Steve. If you want to come up, um, there we go. Hang on, where are you, Steve? Yeah, yeah. I'm here, but there you go. I've sent you the link. So everyone's coming oh, in. Yeah. Oh, He's right. in the where am I? There, we, there, we, there you are. I went onto the wrong tower. I was like, I've lost everyone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, um, my mum's really good with chickens like that. Do you know that the proper do you know as soon as she walks out into the garden, mm. they'll follow her. She's like the Pied Piper, they'll just follow her around. <laughs> just a pipe. Just a pipe. You invite your mum around for a cup of tea and then she but, just puts them on in. <laughs> I mean she she's got something. She's just she's just a natural with them. Do you know because she, like <laughs> she's she had chickens and ducks when she was a little girl. Yeah. And she's had them all all her life, basically. Uh, so she's just natural with them. Um, I mean, the th one of the sad things is she's been, you know, um, in the last couple of years, she's she's got a early start of uh, dementia. Oh, damn. Oh. So, um, it's one of the it's one of the reasons that we're up here is just so because. It just gives, you know, when she's out in the garden and she's she's doing doing the stuff with the chickens and she's doing the stuff with the gardening. Yeah, she's 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 just at home. Yeah, that's perfect. Though it keeps her busy. You, you, you met you met um, me, mum. I mean, she's she's not she's not bad. 
She's not bad, but she's just a little bit forgetful. Yeah. Absolutely lovely lady. <laughs> <laughs> she enjoyed she, I'm sure she remembers the gifts that I brought her. <laughs> <laughs> do you know not what? Every I, day somebody brings giant onions to your house. I was going to say, I was going to say, do you know, uh, we planted the giant onions and they're both rotted. Did they? Yeah. Oh, I blame you for that. <laughs> say that again. So I blame you. I blame so you I was gonna send that. the receipt. I was gonna send my receipt back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Most I, bring, I bring some good quality Most specimens down for you, and you kill them. <laughs> 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 Don't worry, I've got some. I've got. To, I'll have some more. <clears throat> and um, you know, I bought some. I bought. I bought some um, bit of gold seeds. You know, recently. Yeah. And we spent the whole day today just looking for him. And he's like, where have they <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what I do. I do that with <clears> my <throat> granddad. Me and my granddad will constantly just speak to each other and go, do you remember where I had... Do you know that thing that I bought? Yeah. Do you know where I put it? No. I put it in a safe place, but I don't know where I put it. <laughs> and then when we're not looking for it, you'll find it. Prime example, <laughs> we've got a small, um, hard brush, which is for sweeping parts and everything. He took it away, and I knew he took it away and put it somewhere. And um, then I asked him for it when I was busy tidying my greenhouse up. He says, "Yeah, he, he, what do you blame you for it? You blame Leslie for it? So <laughs> blame Leslie taking it. She didn't take it. I didn't take it. He, I was just bought a brand new one from Wilco's. I hung it up in plain sight so he cannot see it. <laughs> and he walks in with the, the the brush. I says, "Where was it? He says, oh, I put it in my secret cupboard. <laughs> secret <laughs> I've put it in my secret cupboard. All right, no brother. All right, did you find anything else that we've been looking for in your secret cupboard? So you also want some cool stuff in there. <laughs> oh, it's going to be loud and strange. I can't wait to get in. I'm gonna get I'm gonna I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna take a look and see what's mine that's in there. Sounds like see, a... I'm, like, I'm like that when it comes to gloves. Do you know gloves? Hmm? I'll take. I'll put a fresh pair of gloves on. Go out, do something. I'll take them off, and then I can't find my gloves. <laughs> <laughs> you go get them. They're soaking wet because it's been raining. And then, and then, I, then I'm like, oh, oh, to my missus, it must have been you that's moved. <laughs> oh, dear. I'll blame the missus as well. And and oh, then man. and then you know where that ends up. <laughs> Yeah, you in the doghouse. <laughs> I'm quite lucky you don't actually. I wouldn't play. So, <laughs> what? But, but she, she knows I'll do it to wind her up anyway. <laughs> actually, I wonder if it's something a bit spiky. <laughs> but, yeah. I've got old gas man's hands. That's what it is. <laughs> gas man's. Uh, I cut my hands and I feel it half the time. Like, we'll bang me knuckles and... All sorts of things. Here's like. no effect. Here's no effect. Oh, hello. Here we go. Steve, how are you doing, mate? Thank you very much for coming in and joining us. I'm all right, mate. How How's yourself? Yeah, pretty oh, good. It's Join the lovely part. to be here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got... We've got um, so for everyone who's who doesn't know who we are, everyone introduce yourselves. Cheers. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> very good. Cheers. So we've got... <laughs> So we've got Dean from Dean's Lost the Plot. Uh, we've got um, oh, we've got Steve bottle, I'm sorry. <laughs> from um, Norfolk <laughs> and Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got I've, to I've, I've got to get the I've got to get the the accent. Right, oh, I love it. <laughs> and uh, we've got we've got the spuds, aka Steve and Charlotte. It's uh, even worse when you try. Right. Say that again. It's even oh, worse when you try. Not um, one of the lads on the on the <laughs> my family garden uh, named us, so we've gone along with it because we thought. <laughs> <it was good. laughs> yeah, if someone was posting, they were they were yeah. putting their potatoes in, and they were putting charlotte's and pipers in, and I yeah. thought. Oh, that's us. <laughs> yeah, <Charlotte. laughs> and, uh, and then, it, and then I think it was Frank, this guy Frank, something or Frank. Yeah, Frank. Thank him some. Yeah, some but I thought that was quite. I thought that was really good. So we kept it. Yeah, we're called the Spurs. It's a lot so, better. 
Yeah. Putting in Stephen Charlotte as well. It's just yeah, like... weird. <laughs> weird? Really? Hey, look at this. Look at this. You look like the Brady Bunch. Yeah. I'm like try, Brady trying Bunch. to watch this <laughs> and put it on YouTube as well. Thanks, Karen. <laughs> oh, Steve, I just did stream yards because if you watch it on YouTube, it kind of can lag a little bit. I oh, know it does. It's about 10 minutes behind, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's like Monty in the chat, isn't it? <laughs> 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 You're still catching Steve. up from last week. <laughs> Car is to <laughs> see this is this is good. We've got four up on the we've got four up on the screen, and it's a lot more symmetrical. Uh, we could do you know what? Streamyard so, lets you guys all had a good day in the garden. Yeah, yeah. absolutely shattered. <laughs> I've actually, Steve. I've actually watched your videos. Uh, I've watched. I've watched your videos you on you. Really you good. Poor sod. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know you got a nice. Uh, you got a nice um, patter on there. Actually, very good. It's getting there. I'm learning. Monty taught me. Yeah, yeah I liked it. Oh, you saw fair enough, Monty. <laughs> you laughed. That's it. Don't That's don't it. see don't say I taught him because because I'll get all. <laughs> you don't want to be. Like... <laughs> <laughs> He's away again. Look. He's away Looks again. Like your garden's about the size of Ireland. <laughs> Who's uh, Steve? It's getting there. Yeah. He's got a nice plot. Nice plot. No idea how it's difficult it is there. to record with Monty. It's a nightmare trying to get any kind of footage with him because if he's not laughing. <laughs> Uh, you, 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 asking simply. It's, it's when Monty that. says it's fucking minging, minging. It's, it's minging, it's minging. <laughs> <laughs> so, Yusuf's asking if Simplify Garden's got a YouTube channel. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's got a massive YouTube channel. Um, it's called Simplify Gardening. He's, he's probably one of the biggest YouTube channel, biggest British gardeners as YouTube channel. You, I can't even get my words out, man. <laughs> He's probably one of the biggest British gardening <laughs> YouTubers. <Yeah>. Well. <laughs> <laughs> He's got lots of followers. Yeah, um, <laughs> about two over two hundred thousand. Wow! Bloody wow. hell! So he's a he's a he's a big deal. Stop it! Stop it! Uh, <laughs> Monty reading the chat is an hour delay. <laughs> He's obviously uh, doing something right then. He's 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 got some quality stuff up there. Um so, uh, okay, right. So, stop it, I can't he's watching us from in the back. I got some more chilies, yeah. Yeah, no, he is. You better you better behave, man. <laughs> he said that he said that an hour ago, Monty. Where you been? What <laughs> <laughs> you got what you got there, Steve? <laughs> Is that your tomatoes? <laughs> chili, more, more chili. <laughs> honestly, money. You, honestly, you need to hire a secretary for Saturday evening, or even <laughs> just get somebody to come on like this on Streamyard and just follow the chat for you. And I need, I need to get my kids up here, and then because they, they're a lot, they can read a lot faster. No. Than that. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, Steve, were you just showing? Hang on, what did I just miss? <laughs> oh, loads! You've missed loads, Monty. Don't worry. Look, were you just showing chilies? More chilies, right, guys? I was thinking, um, let's do Re a recycled. Oh, rose, rose let's do a chili. Let's do a chili growing competition. Let's do a chili challenge. I've got about. Um, I've got about fifty. Fifty. So what I was thinking was, let's do a chili 50. challenge. And then we can, do, we can, plants, we can have a hashtag varieties. chili challenge 2021 20, and we'll make a playlist of everyone who joins the videos with chili challenge and um we can on the facebook group we can have uh people putting in their pictures of their chilies and then yeah. see who can grow the longest chili who can grow the heaviest chili what do you think why not yeah yeah Sounds get good good one, one. my favorite because you've got some what he's gonna get his gun he's bangladesh got... whip it yeah. bangladesh whip it. i want to yep. see these whippets. i've never heard of these no they're, they're quite long 
Lot very long thin chilies, like a whippet's tail. Okay. Because um Ian Nevels, he's he's just sent me some um oh actually I've still got some chilies. So he sent he sent me some spaghetti chilies and he gave me the idea of this competition because he goes, All right, let's see who can, let's have a bit of a, a thing between us and see who can grow the biggest one. So I thought, let's go for chili challenge twenty one and see who can grow <laughs> the biggest chili. Um we can we can we can do like a um We'll set a date and, and see who wants to do it. Yeah. Bangalore whip it. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Yeah, some chilies. That's if you want some, some dry chilies. I've seen your chilies. Stop showing off you. Yeah, do you want some? <laughs> <laughs> you want the chilies? These are just the dry Dean. ones. They're Dean. good. Dean, eat them now. Are you mad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah Dean, eat them. Eat the tail. <laughs> Dean, eat one, man. No. Come on. What a big one. Go on, eat that one. Go on, go on. No, no, no. Eat that. Don't be go on, chew. I don't do chilies, I only grow them for the length. Leslie, make you eat it. I'm going to get you. What's going on here? Someone, someone's talking about taps. <laughs> Oh, well, I, I suppose our conversation isn't that very interesting. <laughs> They're talking about... <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you know what taps means? No. Taps is thick as pig shit. <laughs> I've never heard of that one before. I've never heard that one before. It was taps. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, get educated something new every day, don't you? <laughs> Christina's got a Caroline Reapers ready. See, um, do you know what? I'll show. I'll put some pictures up on Facebook. I think. But um, my mum was sowing some. I so I sowed some chilies, and my mum was going to sow them right. Uh, so I said. So I told my niece, uh, "Can you just help my mum label them?" So she's labeled three pots. So we've got one called hot pepper, another one called hot pepper. Another one called Hot Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Just hot pepper. <laughs> so three three pots of hot pepper. Now I don't know which one my Trinidad Morugira are. I don't know which one my lemon chilies are, and I don't know which one my Scotch bonnets are. Yeah, you're gonna have to keep them all separate, <coughs> then pot them together, and then mark them up when they start turning. <laughs> you'll know when they get to the fruit stage. Yeah. <laughs> but I was thinking, but the thing is, I've got like five or six plants of each, and I was only going to keep like two of each. Um, and I was, I no was thinking some of the others, but um, oh, keep them no. all. I thought she said, I'm, I'm going to sell something, that, sell a chili plant, and say, hey, yeah, this is an unknown chili. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it might be a little tiny, mild one, or it might blow. It might blow your head off. <laughs> It would I've just put my first nagger. 200 tomato plants in this week. Say that again. I've just put my first 200 tomato plants in this week. Your first 200? Yeah, the first 200. Plants in, as in yours are sown, you put it in. They're sown. They're sown. I've sowed my first 200 seeds this week. Oh, wow. Ne the next 200 will be in two weeks' time, and then the next 200 will be in the two weeks' time after that. Oh, my God. What are you going to do you with all them, Dean? Where do you sell them? Just around. You sell them through marketplace. Regulars and stuff, and sell them through marketplace. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that that helps with the upkeep of the garden. The gardens in. How much um, do you sell them for? Stuff, pound each, and they will get it about that big. Nice. nice. So what? How, mean, how do you what, post what we do? No, I don't post them out. Just pick them up. The just for the trade and stuff. The people come and collect them as well. Um, so what I do is, me and my granddad do them. My granddad's got three eight by sixes right next to each other. We only use two of them. He's got uh, old park fire like I've got mine, like I've got mine with the pipe work in it. Okay. So for the right. and stuff. So what he does is, we trans he, he, his two greenhouses turn into like a little tomato factory. Mm. So I'll start them off. Then he gets to pot them up in the little plastic pots, and then when they get about that big, we'll start selling them. So, so do you put them in what three or four inch pots? 
No, put them in little plastic drinking cups. Buy yeah. them in the hundreds. Cut the whole half the pint ones. No, 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 the coffee cup size. Smaller ones. Yeah. Go. And then sell them and get them sold on. I'm actually getting some new tomatoes this year. Actually, there's like yellow. There's a yellow kind that's um like uh, not Gordon has died. Like money maker. And also, I've got some cherry, little yellow cherry ones as well. I'm going to try, but one of my favorites yeah. is some gold. The brown cherries are really nice as well for tomatoes. No, I've had the brown <laughs> cherries before, but I've had red. I, 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 like, I like money maker, I like millions, sweet millions. Um, in the sun golds because sun gold was the first ones I grew last year for the oh, first well. time, and they were beautiful. They were they're expensive seeds, but they were absolutely beautiful. See, um, I grew uh, I got brown... some seeds for black Russian tomatoes. I've had them before. I've tried them before. Are they the Russian like, crib? Any good? Not my, cup of tea. not my cup of tea. Like I've tried the Thai gorillas as well, just for the aesthetics, just for looking at them. Didn't like um, them. They're too watery. Yeah. Um, when it comes to things like uh, sauces and stuff, I go for the plum tomatoes, so I stick with aroma. But just yeah. gen generally speaking, when yeah. I cook, when I'm because where which I grow my tomatoes just for eating, I'll grow them in a ten liter bucket. My granddad grows them in five liters of compost, and only goes up four trusses. And that's it, because that's all he needs in an eight by six greenhouse. He's got ten plants on each side, so I'll be going ten liters this year, and I'll be trying to go six or seven trusses. But the tomatoes don't even get home because I literally go in the greenhouse on a hot day and just sit and pick them. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that's uh, do, do you know, um, when you mentioned Sweet Million, we were doing that. I'm not. A, I was never a big tomato fan, and a few years ago we grew. But I've always grown tomatoes, but I wasn't a fan of them. We'd, we'd use them in cooking and stuff, mm -hmm. but just like, uh, those sweet millions. I picked one up, ate it, and I thought, Yeah, this is all right. This yes, it did. I did exactly the same. I've never <coughs> liked tomatoes. The only reason I grew tom used to grow tomatoes was I didn't even take them home, I just grew them for the smell in the greenhouse because it yeah. just is a very little on my granddad's plot. Watering them, yeah. getting that smell of the greenhouse in the summer, and then when I started eating the, the, the small what cherry ones. So that was it. I was like, I definitely grow on them. Just continue to grow them. Nice hot day, bursting their mouth. The sweetness is unbelievable. They're really good for, do you know, um, they're, they're supposed to be good for uh, skin cancer. Yeah. Right. Um, and it sort of makes sense. Just think about it. Do you know when they come out? The, the tomatoes come out right in the middle of summer, don't they? Yeah. So, do you know when the sun's right. glaring and they're from a hot climate? It just sort of makes sense, but there's, there's apparently some good research coming out on tomatoes and their relationship to skin cancer. Well, how are them? What, what, we're missing out a joke, yes, Steve. How are what's happening? It's what's going on? Nice as well. Yes. yes. <clears throat> so someone's. It's just Mon Monty saying that tomatoes ripen in the summer. Thought it was fairly obvious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean. <laughs> a lot, you know, a lot of fruit and veg and stuff. Do you know, like asparagus when you when you get that right at the start of the season, you know, early spring. Mm -hmm. It's one of the, it's full of minerals that you've been lacking, you know, all winter. Full of vitamin. It's got yep. a lot of it in it, and it's full of full of. That's why you know if you eat asparagus, your pee stinks. Yeah, yeah, and it's yellow as well. Yeah, it's really it's really pumping your back full of those those kind of minerals and and vitamins and minerals. It's it. It's a, I don't think Steve agrees, or is it just point up the obvious again? <laughs> it's the obvious. <laughs> it's the obvious. It doesn't matter what you eat, your peas things. It, it, it's I, it's. I, I swear, there's it's, an admin on the hours. Different that bits of fruit and veg can come along at different times, <laughs> and, they, and they can benefit you. Eat <laughs> beetroot, and your pea goes pink. Yeah. Yeah, I had that done to me when I was little. My mum panicked. My mum gave me that much beetroot because I love beetroot when I was little. She took us to the hospital because she thought it was a problem till the total of just so much beetroot. I yeah, can't look, remember yeah. it, but it's just... like you've had a problem. Yeah. It's like you've embraced, isn't it? This year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I, I swear, I believe my kidneys are red. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if they're supposed to be that obvious. Is that obvious, Steve? Are my kidneys red? <laughs> oh, no, I'll Google it. <laughs> you used to have a they used to have a bloke on the allotment, old boy called Bill, and he wasn't for the faint-hearted, 
he, he was quite slangy and all that. And he was telling me a little story about he washed, he, he, he used to grow a lot of beetroot and he was cooking it up. Wait a and he tipped it, he tipped it down the old sink, like. And um, his next door neighbour happened to have the man old cover up. <laughs> and like, it's all this red go down the old man up, past the man old cover. And Bill went out into the garden. He said, All right, Bill. He said, uh, Where's the wife? <laughs> <laughs> He thought he'd done her in. <laughs> bloody fool, he said. He was like that, yeah. <laughs> never, <laughs> never had a near that movie before. It's just like, what's going on with this? Oh. Was, but... <laughs> so, 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 whereabouts are you based? With uh, Motown. In Kent. Where? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so we're right down the bottom end. It's tropical down here. <laughs> I bet it has been a day. I tell you what, up in the up in the north I, I pole, it was, day today. it was thirty-two so, degrees in my greenhouse today. Blimey, thirty-two degrees. It's been I'm quite. Get the clothes on, Dean. Lately, oh, I got, no, oh, yeah, that's what it was. I still cool. Yeah, Steve, um, Steve, uh, I keep meaning to ask you, how did you become a Leeds fan then? Um, my yeah. uncle. My uncle uh, was a Leeds fan, and uh, it's it's been in the family probably ever since. But I mean, I've, I've been supporting them like for fifty plus years. I, I used to go and see Good them. When didn't you say and your granddad was a Leeds? No, nah, my granddad. Oh. We didn't really. He wouldn't really that fussed really. Yeah, but um, yeah, I, we got we do we do go up to Leeds quite a bit. Um, well, obviously when we could. Yeah. Pre lockdown, we we there's a coach goes up, and we used to go to home games quite quite a bit, sort of six, seven, eight times a year. One year I went about eleven times, which ain't too bad from Maidstone because it was only twenty five pounds. So yeah, we like you know it's just what I've always done. Are you good been, day out. Oh, you've been watching. Oh, you've realised that I'm on. Where about are you in? Nothing. Come on then. <laughs> I'm just before round here. Oh right, yeah. So um, it's called Oakwood where I am. Uh, so it's just yeah, between yeah, Rundy yeah. and Hales. I'm bold. Yeah. Hey Kyle, how are you doing? It's not Kyle, it's Eminem. <laughs> hi, my name is. Hi, my name. You got to put your fingers up there. My name is. My name is Mr. Dragon. The name is Mr. Dragon, is it? Oh. <laughs> it's because I'm wearing dragon pajamas. Oh, look, you can get one of your little friends on your soul. Look, show everybody your a friend. Look, oh. <laughs> it's taking over now. I feel like so, I'm on. Rose has just said, Spud's your Maidstone. Yeah, we are. Hello. What's your sauce? I used to work for Maid, uh, firm in Maidstone. Oh, did you? Two minutes. Yeah. Know, what are you doing down there, Steve? Upstairs. Um, I used to be an audiologist, and one of the largest hearing aid companies are based in Maidstone. Oh, right. Probably, okay. I've got to do with him. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, a little bit. I gave, I gave it up. To, I gave it up yeah. to do some gardening. <laughs> <laughs> the old rock and roll's taking its toll on the old lug holes. <laughs> Is that what you're doing now, uh, still, or are you? Um, are you no, are you I, I've semi -re semi retired, mate. Oh, I look old enough, man. <laughs> I'm sick next year. I'm old. <laughs> Errol, sixty. I'll be next sixty next year. year yes. Yeah. Next year, youngster. Youngster, yeah. <laughs> 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 <coughs> so we've got Sky Sky's joined us as well. No Dean's Excellent. Man. <laughs> I'm just it. <laughs> <laughs> anything they get on YouTube, Monty, anything they get on YouTube. If they're not watching it, they want to be on it. <laughs> yeah. Give them get them get them set up with their own channel. I have. <laughs> <laughs> That Leslie piping in from the back. That's, that's, uh, that's his daughter, Sky. 
Oh, my so, wife's over there. She looks right like that. She's about the same height as well. No, <laughs> Monty knows. <laughs> oh, fuck. I sorry. I she's shorter. I. Right? She's actually taller than Leslie now. Dean. Dean, how's the cats doing? <clears throat> they're, they're jumping around, mate. They're jumping around. They are jumping really, on the chair. They're doing really well at the minute. Uh, one of them has. Oh, as usual. Has got an umbilical hernia, which we're having to keep an eye on. But um, Les Leslie's them. just grabbing them now. And like you see, you see the other one, the little black and white one. They're climbing up and down <laughs> the couches. They're, 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 they're being little kittens now, basically. They're trying to train. Trying to train. There's one. one the oh, bless. Oh, no. There's, one. There's the other. Uh, oh, look at that. That's a real oh, look that's at a boy. That. Oh, look at them. Get up there. <clears throat> they've grown quick so, oh they've grown really quick they're five weeks old now they'll be going in three weeks are you, time are you still getting rid around. of them yeah they'll be going in about three weeks time as long as they um, start feeding they're starting to use the cat litter tray it's been a bit of a challenge because this little man wouldn't go in the litter tray he would go down to one specific place but as soon as we made another litter tray up it was sorted and handy tip as well Kittens, cat litter trays. I've used um, seed trays. <laughs> You're laughing. I've used seed trays. Seed, seed trays with a bit of newspaper on the bottom That's and good. some cat litter. See, I had, a, I had a, a cat litter tray that was probably double the size of a seed tray. So I used the cat litter tray as a, as a seed tray. I've got a <laughs> I do dog the bed. <laughs> I have a dog bed as a compost bin. Excellent. Use the way in which I've got, because I'm going to be going into my greenhouse tomorrow to do a bit of tidying up. That my greenhouse in the back garden is my pot and on greenhouse. And how it's it come by total accident, how I uh, do be pot and on. And it's really, really easy to do as well as I've got the, I've got two benches. I've got the top bench and I've got a bench underneath. I've got the dog bed underneath the, the on the second bench. And in the top bench, I haven't got slats. I've got um, squared plastic dig fence. Fence bits, so do you know like they get the squared plastic fence <laughs> um, trellis sort of stuff? It's just laid across the top with um, I've just stapled in. So when I get my compost, I'll put it on the top, push it through, and it's like a big sieve. Yeah, push it the dog bed below. So when I'm potting up, I'll just need to go underneath, Hello. fill the cups up, put it up, and I can level it off. And, and there's no mess with the compost, it goes straight in the compost bed. So <laughs> it's 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 so much easier than having to. Get a flat surface, pot on, see, and then pick it all up and put it back in the compost bin because it's. See, I've got an old, I've got an old sink. Do you know an old kitchen sink? Yeah. So what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna put um in my new greenhouse. I'm gonna just fit that kitchen sink, um put put it on some legs, and then just use the basin for you know, potting up and compost, and use the um the other bit. What's the other bit called? I don't even know what that bit's called. Do you know where you put your plates? <laughs> yeah. yeah, for that bit. Right, sky's back. <laughs> sky's back. Oh, hi, Leslie. So we've got a few people. Uh, CW, we've got Hajar Begum, Walaikum uh, Salam. Who else is, if anyone else has come in, I've missed you. Really sorry. We've got loads, we've got um, a madhouse tonight. Leslie, how are you doing? Thank you very much for popping in. Uh, how are you keeping? I'm all right, thanks. Good. DNA family, what like was salam uh, so who else is here? I've got well, kind of litter trays that are perfect watering trays. Now, I do exactly do any of you guys use an old bath to grow things in? No, <clears throat> I used to my ver well. My first greenhouse, it was like this plastic, cheap plastic thing that the wind broke down. So I used that to make one uh, on some concrete, you know, a concrete foundation. So I had a bath in there and I used to grow carrots in it. Yep, a lot of people do do that. I know a lot so, of people, right. with me growing exhibition stuff, people use the baths. That's what I'm thinking about doing. Wash, ba wash basins. Because so, and, and carrots are quite high, you don't need to protect them from uh, thingies. Um, what are they called? Oh, car thingies. carrot roof fly, Monty. Carrot fly. Yeah. For me, it's a load of rubbish. I've got big boxes at my allotment. I've got sweet candle in them for the shows, and they're about four, four foot off the ground. 
and you still got Carol with fly damage. See, I broke oh, my, so my wheelbarrow. So my old wheelbarrow is just basically falling apart. So all I've done is I've lined it with some um, cardboard. Every year I line it with some cardboard and I plant my carrots into there. And they normally do really well. It's only during like I left some over enough for carrots. And I've just picked them out now. And they're, they're a bit maggoty. But the ones that I grow um, during the main season, they do really well in the, in the wheelbarrow. Possibly having a, sacrif a sacrificial carrots. set of carrots. That they'll go Say that again. The having a set of sacrificial carrots. Mm. So they can, they'll not go for the other ones. Like you say, it's, it, it, might be, it might be worth having a go. I might try that, actually. I might put it. I might. Um, I might put a few at the bottom, lower <laughs> down, and see what happens. That's a good idea. Then I'll see what I see how it goes. Because I like growing my yeah. carrots in buckets. I like growing them in thirty. Like Stick some other stuff in there as well. Do you know, um, like I, I was I was planting some uh, thingies out, broad beans out today, and I put the broad beans in the middle of my garlic. Yeah, compound. So, so I ne I hardly ever get uh is Leslie jumping out the window? Yeah, she's had enough. <laughs> yeah, she's had enough. <laughs> so <clears throat> I'm I just put the last shame they live on the twelfth floor. She's <laughs> 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 just trying to be the same height as everybody else, yeah. <laughs> you see, uh last year I hardly got any issues from you know black fly and stuff like that. Yeah. Doing things like that, but um, yeah, uh, we've got a fair few broad beans planted out today. So uh, tomorrow, that's that's me other job. So I'm gonna plant out another, probably about another twenty broad bean plants. Um, garden start. Do you know, it, it feels like we're getting somewhere. Do you know, we're starting to come to spring. Mm -hmm. like, oh, we're we're spring. March now. We're March, starting. March. March we've got March spring. winter to come. Yeah. Well, this is yeah, but, in it apparently <laughs> <laughs> full spring have, yeah falls spring yeah like full gold um it's a bit of a joke really but we haven't actually sown anything yet no, partly we because we haven't tomorrow. gotten around to it so uh this is this is one for the spuds what's your channel oh, name i'm not sure i'm sub to you. we don't have a channel no <laughs> Just no one. Uh, we're, just, we're just a couple of, uh, a couple pe of... peasants from Maidstone. Yeah, yeah. they're, they're, they're up here. They're, they're up here for a chat. So. Yeah. Yeah. Some, yeah, the floor's all to anyone who wants to come on here and annoy people. <laughs> the spuds, you, you've got to get a channel going. Yeah. We actually I sound like we know what we're talking about. We're pretty good at that. Exactly. Yeah, we're, we're all the same. <laughs> It's fine. Yeah. It's having the time as well. Yeah. I mean, we'll just wing it. We all wing yeah. it. I've been thinking about doing an alternative cookery program. <laughs> oh, no. What are you going to cook? Not cooking. Not cooking. Not is, on. <laughs> Today we have fresh air. Alter alternative <laughs> cooking, just eat it raw. Yeah. <laughs> Try it in the kitchen. Like that. Yeah, we have an apple. Yeah, I would imagine. You could yeah. go into the greenhouse with the tomatoes, you could get one of them little thermostats, you could pop it into the tomato and go, Oh, that's about the right temperature. Let's have it off the vine. Yeah. Um, oh, that is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, wrap, just wrap one in tin foil, sorted. Let the sun do the job. I'm giving you all the good ideas. Yeah, I don't know why I'm doing it. Copyright trademark. <laughs> that would probably oh be God. our next our next thing. The peasants from Maidstone. <laughs> well, actually, no, that's 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 not like, that sounds like that's like a heavy metal on that. <laughs> That's something else I'm going to try. Persons from Maidstone. Oh, my we're, face is hurting, guys. My face is hurting. Actually, uh, <laughs> we're actually starting sewing tomorrow, actually. Um, we got a new if, greenhouse. Um, if, 
Dave's, Dave's allotment's watching. Thanks, mate. You're a star. Now we're all looking to see. Steve. Actually. Honestly, God, I didn't have a clue who that was. It was like Clark Kent just came in. You were a totally different person with them glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> He's just transformed. Well, these ones. <laughs> watch, watch it, watch. Totally transformed. I look intelligent. <laughs> I look clever. <laughs> like, who's just sat down in Steve's chair? What? Steve? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about someone in the chat. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, would you like me to go for out and pronounce his, his, his stage name? Should we say? I didn't. I didn't even notice he, he took it. Took his glasses off and put them back on. <laughs> Monty, you oh. don't even notice you're doing it yourself. Never mind watching it. This, <laughs> this is not <laughs> <looking> good. <laughs> <laughs> this is Steve. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm the one. Look, look, look. Hi, I'm Hugh. <laughs> <laughs> it works so compelling. Oh, oh my God. God. My oh, face God. is hurting. Oh. With <laughs> 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 oh, <my God. laughs> <laughs> me, actually, Superman. Our people didn't know Superman just by putting a pair of glasses on. It's the perfect disguise, hey, 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 was it? What price was that? <laughs> it was the fact that he wore his pants on the outside. <laughs> Hiding oh. things in plain sight's the way forward. Like I was mentioning earlier on about that brush that I got for when my grandma lost lost and found it. I've had that brush in my greenhouse hanging up on the inside of my greenhouse. He doesn't have a clue where it is, so he kind of touch it. <laughs> it's, 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 it's like me gloves. What my wife, my wife does me gloves every time I put them down. I'm sure she moves them, man. I'm sure yeah, she moves. She moves them. <laughs> <laughs> then you go back the way you took them off, and they're there. Can you fancy that? Right. Who would have thought we, I took them off there before? We've got a new greenhouse coming um, in a couple of weeks. With he, he, first, oh. first a couple of years ago, he was like, "Look, we'll just live with the little one we got." You know, it, we haven't got the room. He gets a nice upgraded shed, and I'm lit and putting up with this polycarbonate little six by five. Kind of I've got a clock in, Quiff. Is it there? Kind of deep. Drop. Thank you very much for subscribing. And um, well, we finally decided that we need a bigger greenhouse. Yeah. So this eight by eight is coming in a couple of weeks, which is really exciting. What he doesn't know is I'm going to move in because. Uh, this is my greenhouse. It's not ours. <laughs> it's mine. Mine. You're moving so, in or moving out? Well, depends which way you see it, really. <laughs> in the greenhouse. <laughs> That's what right. I'll buy a couple of more amplifiers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, try it now, mate. Uh, but remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> I've got me clock and quiff sorted. <laughs> you call me Chris Reeves. <laughs> Henry Carroll. Oh, I haven't got any, got any glasses. Andrew, see, I'm not drawing a pair on. Hold on a minute. <laughs> see, Andrew, it's been fun. It, it has been fun, but I'm not sure what advice we give. <laughs> Anything about gardening? Nick, a lot, man. Thank you again for subscribing. So there you go, Steve. You get you getting a a good few new friends. That's nice. <laughs> oh, one thing I was going to ask you, Moffin, is it's yeah. nice, isn't it? It is nice to share this. Yeah. Um, when you you know you do a thing with. You break down the coating of the seed with tea. Yeah. Do you use that on everything? Do you do that? Not, I don't. I don't do that with everything. Um, what we do is anything that's sort of you know old, you know old seed or dry seed, you know, really dry seed or um, uh, things that generally are a little bit hard to germinate. Yeah. So we we do it with anything like that. So everything. Hard. Including chilies, or do you mean just because it's quite an old seed? Chili, chilies are quite hard to germinate because 
I've well, some they they can be quite hard to germinate and they take a long time to germinate. So mm. doing it just gives it that little bit of a head start. Yeah. Uh, I do my gourds, so I've done it um, with quite a few gourds, uh, and uh, and I'll do it with some cucumbers and stuff like that as well. Yeah. And it just gets them to off to a head start. Yeah, it's an alternative because we we I've often used um, tissue or kitchen roll. And, yeah. and I do that with pasta <laughs> more than anything. Um, the thing is, I do that. I do that with big seeds. Do you know, like pumpkins and stuff like that? I'll do it with them. But I can't do it with little ones because normally when I pick the plants, I crush them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just too clumsy to do it with little ones. So do you like a chili plant? I couldn't handle doing it with a little chili plant because I'd end up crushing it. What's this guy doing? <laughs> you have good results on the parsnips. Yeah, in fact, I found even using. Don't move. I've always found with parsnips that the brand, the newest seed, you get the obviously the best germination rate. But I've obviously How found that, mold, yeah. Yeah. You know, yes. rather than avoid the disappointment of sowing something and then up, at least something oh, sow it. And I've always found that seems to germinate not as well, but. Hmm. You've used old seed up, and I found it pretty effective. And it doesn't take up much space. You haven't wasted lots of compost. It's you know you just pluck it out of the bit of the tissue and stick it straight hmm. in your compost. Off you go. Do you? Hmm. So what what sort of germination rate would you get from older seeds? Well, it dips the older it gets. Because I've so got loads of old custom seeds. One of the one of the things that I've found as well, a lot of people asking on Facebook and stuff like that as well. I've got seeds that's got two thousand and two on them. Should I plant them? Well, my advice is, what have you got to lose? They're either not going to grow or they're going to grow. Exactly. It's always great exactly. to have newer seeds to be able to get it. But you see, I have a better exactly. germination rate. But still, I've still got seeds from two thousand and two thousand seven, two thousand eight. Oh yeah. Still all right. When we got when, yeah. we, when we got together, we merged our seed collection together. We had stuff that oh, that's how really you do it serious. You get DVDs, albums. When you're seed, yeah, yeah. you that's, the it. that's it. Oh. It's no moving out. No so up. what that's happens it. if you split? Who's that's got what seeds? Chicken and mine. <laughs> but yeah, so pass it. Go back to the Actually, I've got an info. I've got a picture somewhere. I'll save them on Facebook about how old seeds maintain their viability for. I don't know how true it is, but I'll happily send it to Monty and he can put it on 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 your group. Um, going back to the past, no, put your own channel up. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll have three subscribers. It would be like pointless, wouldn't it? <laughs> Leslie, Le Leslie's got how many subscribers? You got? Eleven. Leslie's got eleven subscribers. She hasn't even got a video. One's me. One's just family. But did, did Leslie start a channel? Five. She did just to come on to like these things. She's got a Facebook group, oh. like a Facebook page. But she doesn't do any videos on it because um, obviously it's just what I have 25. You've got 25, so you've got more subscribers than I'm. <laughs> yeah, I've got videos. Ah, you've got videos on yours, though. Are you? Yeah, two um, years. Three years. I've got a Facebook page which I just use as a bit of a diary, a bit of a blog. Which um, there's 200 people that join that. I've no idea who they are, but oh, I've got <laughs> Charles, I've got 3,000 to nearly 3,200 people on. I only know about a quarter of them. <laughs> <laughs> you actively I'm promote like, it, whereas I'm which just one's that to see what what which I just want to compare how each year. Which one's your, which one's your Facebook group? Oh, it's not your Facebook group. It's your YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to do that. I literally had somebody come up to me today, right? And I was at the um, the Lotman shop because uh, we're open on the weekend. I need to get some supplies. I was standing in the queue to get in. Um, it's like a little hut. I was standing there, and there was a gentleman walked in behind us, and I'm thinking, I recognise your face, but I don't know where from. And I just did the normal, the normal UK thing, and I just went, you know, did it like that. <laughs> and then there was another. Then there's another guy walked past, pointed directly to me, and went, Dean, Dean's lost the plot. I went, 
hello, do you watch my channel? Do you? Yes, I watch my channel. And I was telling them I was going to pop some cup or up to see Dave from Dave's Allotment Garden. And this little old chap stand next to his pipe up and went, oh, I'm Dave's next door allotment neighbour. <laughs> it, it was only rare. No one I recognised who it was. <laughs> <laughs> then, then I went up and gave him his compost, and Ray, was, Ray, Ray come on a while later. I was like, oh, fancy seeing you. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, I did. but I don't know if you get that. You, well, you Are probably you guys get that planning one on going to Malvern this year? Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. That's our weekend away. We missed last year. <laughs> That's our weekend getaway. I, I, I really enjoyed it last time. Do you know, we went, first time I went was last year. Is it is it a good is it a good thing? Oh, it's great. It was it was good. I mean, the, we went as a, we went with the whole tribe. So uh, all the kids, um, me, my wife, and and the kids, and yeah, I saw was, the video. They, they, had, they had like a, a good little bit of uh, stuff for the kids to do. You know, tractor driving and uh, climbing and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I didn't. Place. It's a huge place for more than, Yeah, It needs more than just three, more than the weekend. It needs more than Saturday and Sunday. What surprises me is what two of the biggest shows in the country, uh, Malvern and Harrogate. And the Harrogate yeah. show is Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And it's about the tenth. It's a tenth of the size of Malvern with a tenth or less to do. I can get around Harrogate in six hours. Having a look around, I mean, you could probably spend, you could probably do it over the two days quite happily and see things twice. When you go to Malvern, you could barely get around one time and you don't really get much time to spend looking into things over two days. Is Malvern we the to, same time as Chelsea? It is this year because Chelsea's put it on at the same time, which has been absolutely fantastic booking by them. Fantastic. It's absolutely so they've put this Chelsea Spring Show. On the same weekend as the Malvern Autumn Show. Yeah. If one wow. one way one one way I've looked at it is all the tops will go to Chelsea and this will be le left with the normal people. I think in Malvern, Malvern, there are people in Malvern. Do you know, it was very very posh. What Malvern? Yeah. I no, no. I think, I think it might be posh there, for you, Monty, because you're from Leeds. <laughs> See, I, I would have said you were posh. <laughs> if you can pronounce your T's, then you're posh. If you can pronounce your T's. <laughs> Monty, Monty. So as soon as you as soon as you ask where the kids, here here comes one of them. I travel. Hey, dude. See, everyone's getting ready for bed now, so I think we're gonna have to. Whoop, whoop. Okay. You okay? Mm -hmm. I don't actually know if you've actually answered anyone's gardening questions. Monty's supposed to be doing this. We can't see the chat. Yeah, you can. Monty's not trying. You can. I know, but I was using that as an excuse. I'm blaming it's Monty's fault. Come on. Monty's about 10 days behind. That's the problem. Oh, there we go. Hey, hey, hey. You got him. You got him. Hold him down. Hold him down. Get him, kids. Get him. Get him. I shout this every week. Get him. Zach. I got him. Do it that far. <laughs> See, you asked for it, and they all came in, and they've and they've just wrecked the place. Get him! Get him! Get him! Zachy! Go on, Zachy! Where Where is Taz? Who's Taz? I don't know where's Frank. I know. I know Zachy loves shouting for Frank. Hi. Hi. Ah. Hi, Pop. I think it's Pop. Salam, Roy, did Is this a garden <laughs> He's a proper cheeky little in this one. He climbs on trees. Oh, I, don't I don't. I'm off to Chelsea then. <laughs> I don't want to climb on trees. <laughs> yeah, the park. You said climbing all those trees. Remember? 
pissed off. Hand him on those little ones. To be fair, Rosie. Oh, yeah, I'm just here for the laughs. This Saturday evening, it's a laugh. Are you not laughing? It's, 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 it's a laugh. No. It's a laugh and a general chit chat. That's the reason why I like doing my live videos as well. That's not a laugh. Ow, ow, ow. That's not Stop a... pulling me, too. That's not a laugh. That's not a laugh. Dude, don't, don't say that. They will, and then I'll, then I'll be down a lap. Dave, if it's a year old, don't say what. I'm going to listen. Less than that. Um, if it's three, four years old. Don't let like, him kick into the screen. No. Yeah. You're a little better than that. Cool. What's a kick? What's a kick? I thought it was a bad one. Yeah. 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 Oh, I can do a flying kick. Right, he's gonna he's going off the rails now, and these guys are gonna get to bed. So I'm gonna call it a night, you guys. Don't do it! Don't do it! I think I think we have to. Yeah. Uh, we have to off, and we should just carry on. Like, oh, we don't brilliant! Do. There's a yogurt gone all over my bed. Oh. <laughs> right. On that, on that note, guys, it's been a great night. I'm gonna call it a night here, fall? and I'm gonna get cleaning up this yogurt. All right, take care. Assalamualaikum. See you guys later. Take care. <laughs>